I look a little bit crazy with the headband. But today's today's video, I'm gonna be doing um over here a foundation review, and it's this foundation. So I bought this foundation in the shade soft beige, which I didn't think it was my shade because I watch a YouTuber named Alexis Jada. And every time I buy a makeup product, it's because of her. Um, Cause me and her are kind of like the same color skin tone. And so she got like a darker color than me. So I don't know if this is gonna work out. But we're gonna try. So what I'm gonna do first is get my beauty blender off the screen. But I don't know where those are at. Okay, my foundation beauty blender is right here. So, let's get started. So, I'm gonna pick my hair up. And this one supposedly has no flashback. It's, you know, so even if it is in my color, it shouldn't look that crazy. Hopefully not, because I don't want it down. So, I'm just gonna. And so I'm just gonna, I love the applicator on this foundation. I love how it's like this. Like I always struggle with foundation that you have to put on your hand or take out, so. I'm glad this one is like, you can put it on. I mean, it already looks a little bit crazy on my skin. Who knows? It might be my color, though. Brown said, Brown is the one. Oh, I got foundation on here. Brown is the one that was like, um, that this was my color. I did, I do personally don't think this is my color. But Brown is like, it's your color. Oh, I didn't really get my foundation brush. Y'all guys know that I always use a brush first, so. What I do notice about this brush is that it's you can always take foundation back to the store, but I don't want to take it back, especially because of like the coronavirus and stuff. I'm trying not to go out as much as possible. It doesn't look bad, but it doesn't look good either. Like, and maybe I need to wet my. I feel like it looks white, but then I feel like it kind of, like it looks like my skin, but just with foundation. Like it's, it matches me. So I'm just gonna keep blending. I guess now I'm going with my brush because everything is blended out. So now what I'm gonna do I feel like if I got a darker color, then that wouldn't be my color. Cause this one looks like it matches my neck. Mm. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, this one looks like it matches my neck. So let's just go ahead. I'm just gonna go ahead and shade in my eyebrows a little bit. 
but it's okay. I just want to know how you guys are doing with this whole quarantine. Why is this coming look pretty really dark? Quarantine day, like what are y'all doing to stay inside? Cause it's hard out here for pimp. Freaking, I, I, I was never the type to go outside. Like I was never the type to go out anywhere. So I can't even say like, oh, like I'm dying, you know? Cause I'm not really like, it's not really that big a deal. Um, the thing I do not like though is that like I can't even go to the thrift store if I want to. Like I can't. Can do a lot of things. Um, I don't like that I can't see my friend. I like my friends. Um, her and her baby. I miss them. I don't like that I can't see them. But I wouldn't. I wouldn't be selfish enough to be like, oh, well, you know, I could still go over. Like, no. I don't want. I wouldn't want to risk her baby getting any kind of sickness ever in life. So. No. Um, I do say my best friend though. But, well, my best friend is actually the one who bought me this foundation for my birthday. So thank you. And, um, what was I going to say? Um, yeah, so I just, I think that part sucks. But it's also kind of a good thing, you know? Um, I feel like everybody should listen and know stay inside and stuff but of course you know there's those people that don't so I mean that's fine too I've been working out if you guys know who Chloe Ting is comment down below I've been doing her challenge me with this friend or doing And I gotta tell you, I'm kind of giving up already. Like, I just, I don't know. I feel like I've gained so much weight. And, um, I'm not happy with it at all. Obviously, I'm not, I'm not like, oh, I gained, you know, and like happy about it, because, you know, who would be happy about gaining weight? I'm not happy about it. But, I feel like you gain weight when you're happy and I feel like you know I'm happy right now me and Brando our our relationship is really flourishing and I love it and I and I you know I feel like um I feel like I'm really just appreciative you know that our relationship is growing and flourishing we spend a lot of time together he's at work right now but I just feel like I can't complain and so I don't you know I don't so when he says I don't like talking about it I don't like you know doing that it's not because oh he doesn't love me you know I don't want you guys thinking like oh it's just that he feels like we were a little bit too young and I personally, like, if I had a daughter or if, you know, my nieces, I do think it is too young. 12, 13, it's too young. Um, but I have no place in saying, oh, it's too young because I'm the one who got, you know, like, I already did that and they saw me do that. So I can't say not one word. Or I can't, or I could say a word, I just can't judge them. Like, I want to be there for my nieces as much as possible, as well as my boyfriend's little sister. Um, my brother's little sister, my little sister in law. I want to be there for her as much as possible. I don't want to be that one person that they're like, oh, I can't go tell her. Like, they can come and tell me anything they want to, they can come, whatever they need, you know. I will always be that one person that will help them and whatever they need. Um, 
so that's why I just I I personally you know I do think it's young but I I am happy with the fact that me and Brando you know did me when we did so I just think him he's like you know we're young okay so now I'm just gonna bronze up my face I don't know if I want to use stick master contrapuro I feel like I haven't been using it and I feel like I don't get oily but I'm gonna use it today but Notice I didn't put a lot of concealer this time. Mm. And then for the nose part, I'm just gonna I want to try Kim Kardashian's makeup. I want to try it too bad. Every time I see a tutorial or something on her makeup, it looks so smooth and creamy that I want to see if it's really like that. Or like if it is, it, or is it one of those consistencies kind of where, you know, it's smooth and creamy, but it goes away. It doesn't show up on your face. Like I want to see for myself. I don't want to watch videos. I'm going to take this headband off because it's leaving me like a, like a crease and I'm going to straighten my hair so I don't want the crease to be there. Uh, what do I do? So I'm just going to clean up, bake my face. Um, let's hope I don't drop my powder. I always tend to something wrong you know I used to complain that I got this powder this trans don't waste makeup guys some powder um, I actually ordered on wish and when I ordered it on wish it had a different picture and it was supposed to be air spun and instead I got this powder And when I got this powder, I was low-key mad. Um, I was low-key, like, I didn't order this. Like, why is this on here? Like, I was super upset because um, I'm going to move my hair back. I was super upset because um, you know, I thought it was air spun. Everybody was, that was at the time where Laura Mercier and all that. It was like my high school days when I didn't know a lot about makeup. So like, but I was more into it. You know, I was more into it. In those days I was more, um, do my makeup every day. Like, I was more into makeup. So, when I got this one, I used it for the first time. Mind you, I said, I don't know a lot about makeup. I really don't. I don't know about certain brands. I don't know about a lot of stuff. So, when I ordered the 
Oh my god, I got all the sheets dirty. The air spoon powder, it was from Wish, and it was only a dollar, I believe. And I ended up getting fine on the loose powder. This one. And when I got it, I was like, what the heck? Like, guys, I got powder everywhere. When I got it, I was like, oh my god, they gave me the wrong thing. You know, I was pretty upset. And I used it. And when I used it, I was even more mad because there was flashback. And the Laura Mercier A and Airspun didn't have flashback. So I was like, what the heck? You know? Like, I got this. And I ordered something else. And so I was pretty upset. I ended up. Anyway, keeping it. And I had gave one to my mother in law because at the time she wore makeup. So I had gave it to her. And I can you I kid you not guys. I use it now. And it doesn't leave no flashback. It doesn't you know, I was just like it wasn't what I wanted back then, so I guess I was like I'm not gonna use it. No, I want it, I want it, I want it. And it ended up being good, so I guess you can say I was kinda dumb back then. But I'm just doing my makeup because, you know, I'm going to fix my hair and stuff because I feel like Bramley gets tired of seeing me in pajamas. Comment down below if you think your boyfriend gets tired of seeing you in pajamas or your husband, whatever. Because I think that. I think they're going to get bored of seeing the same thing all the time. So. I guess I'll cover my lashes. I still don't want to put on mascara. Not today, so I'm just going to curl Put Vaseline on your eyelashes, guys. It makes them grow. Look at my eyelashes. I'm gonna go ahead and take off this translucent powder. This light blinds me. It's because this light, has, this has a light, guys, and it's already going um dim. So. I really like the foundation. Like afterwards, like all the um, after all the like when you add I didn't like it when I saw it. When you add your eyebrows, you know, your bronzer, um there go making faces. I hate that I do that. Like when I've when I do my makeup and like I'm you know, film myself, I'm like Whatever. That looks, let me put this back. That looks somewhat natural because I like this one. This is Vaseline Chapstick, guys. Right? This is Vaseline Chapstick, so. I just want like a, I want to find like a pretty, oh my god. Like, like this color, that's too pink for me. I don't wear pink. Mm -mm. I want like a mauve type color-ish looking thing but let's see what we got <laughs> okay so the foundation at first like i said i didn't like it i didn't like that you know 
I got soft beige. It just looks too light for me. Um, in the little, where is it? In the little bottle, it looks too light. Oh, it's in here. In the little bottle, so let me show you. It doesn't look like me. We're right now I have foundation on. But this ended up being my color. So brown little color matched me, right? Wow. Because I was about to get a dark color, guys. I'm telling you. It was like, it was beige too. I think it was sand. Was it? No, it was beige too. But it was a darker shade of beige. So if I would have got that one, I feel like then that would have looked crazy on me. Like this looked a little bit white on me, in my opinion. I don't know if on camera you could see that, guys. That eye looks a little bit white. But this looked crazy on me but once i concealed and i put contour on and i kind of you know fixed my face it looked good so i do think you should buy this foundation right here and i am gonna do the flashback test because this on the back says that there is no flashback goodbye photo flashback that's what it says on the back so i am gonna do a test of with flash and that'll probably be you know in the video um and this is also cruelty free so i like that um i'm excited you know it says to pull this i didn't even see this Oh, it just says it delivers virtually flawless and buildable coverage every time precision match color with matte second skin finish that's probably why i like it it's matte it's a skin finish matte so i think i i think i got it guys but if you like this video make sure you like comment share subscribe make sure you comment down below and let me know what other videos you want you guys want to see especially right now because we're in quarantine we're locked in the house i'm down for whatever i have free time you know um except for when i gotta do homework and school and that's when i get all bunched up and i'm working out too so uh i don't know why i said free time but um let me let me know guys you know what you know what y'all want to see what you know whatever with me and brando or with you know whatever and um make sure you give this video a thumbs up and bye